Hi, Demo Day. My name is Ann Schnabel, and I recently made the transition to becoming a full stack software engineer. Before I was a software engineer, I studied graphic design and marketing at Bradley University. I was also looking into roles in higher education administration. I realized after I got a job in higher education administration, though, that it wasn't for me. I found it dissatisfying. So I returned to design and I returned to problem solving, but in a new way. I started building web applications. One such web application I would like to show you today is called Abode. Welcome to Abode. Abode is an apartment management app that allows residents and administration to perform administrative tasks. For instance, on the resident side, you can write a maintenance report or file a resident complaint. This is what the maintenance request form looks like. You can put in your apartment, add a room that has an issue with it, and write a short description. Let's say the windows leak when it rains. And we can submit it. Maintenance report submitted. We can also file a resident complaint. You'll see this form looks very similar to the other one. You can submit your apartment, the offending apartment, the type of offense, as well as a short description. However, if you try to submit this without adding any inputs, it'll request that you fill out all the areas of the form. On the administration side, we immediately meet a visual dashboard with a customized D3 widget that I created to show the number of tenants. When you mouse over each proportional circle, it shows you exactly what apartment number it is, what the lead tenant's name is, and how many tenants are in the room. You can also, at the bottom, click different buttons to see the number of maintenance reports, as well as the number of complaints against a certain apartment. Over here, we can see that offending apartment 206 has four complaints against it. This kind of data is hard to find trends in in tabular form, but in visual data, we can see completely that this is an abnormally large amount of complaints. Over here, we also show the data in tables. Over in the maintenance request table, you can control the completion status by clicking this button. In complaints, you can see the complaints that have been filed, organized by date. And in the tenants, you can see exactly how many tenants we have, as well as move out tenants and move in tenants. Let's add George Weasley. And two tenants. And we can see that that gets submitted. Overall, this sprint went very smoothly. However, I still ran into some challenges. For instance, D3 was a new technology for me, so it proved to be quite the barrier for a little while. However, after looking into it and looking into resources for it for a few days, I was able to finally crack it. In the future, I would like to build more D3 customized charts for this application to better improve the user experience of the manager. As this is my final project with Project Shift, I have to reflect on the last 12 weeks and think about how much I've grown and how much I've learned, but also think about how much I will continue learning after this point. And I'm very excited to work on even greater projects with my future team wherever I land. Thank you so much for viewing my product. If you would like to view it in more detail, please visit the Demo Day website. And if you'd like to reach out to me, please do so on LinkedIn. I love getting Zoom coffee with new people. Thank you very much.